Hi. In this unit, we're going to use a red cabbage indicator to study acids and bases. But to start with, we need to make the red cabbage indicator. What I have here is a head of red cabbage purchased from your local grocery store, and I've got a gallon of distilled water. You'll need both of these to make your red cabbage indicator. But what we need to do first is we need to chop this up and shred it, and then we need to put it in a pot of boiling water. All right, the first thing I want to do is I want to quarter my head of cabbage. into my pot. Okay, now that the cabbage is finely shredded, we can fill the pot with water. We want to use distilled water here because distilled water is the cleanest water. It's not going to have any minerals or any other additives in it, any natural stuff. It's perfectly clean water. Now you want to cover the cabbage just to the top and you want to bring this to a boil. As it's heating up you want to stir occasionally to moisten this to keep it, uh, keep it all nice and uh, evenly heated so that we release the uh, indicator uh, pretty uniformly and get as much out as we can. Okay, we've brought the cabbage to a boil and now we've turned the temperature down to a slow simmer. Uh, we just want to keep it warm now and give it about 10 minutes to allow all the good stuff to leach out of the red cabbage. You can already see a coloration of the water already. That's a good sign. So we're going to let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. Now what we want to do is we have to strain the uh, red cabbage from the water. So we're going to get a head start on it by either using a slotted spoon or a strainer. We want to get out most of the big stuff first. And a slotted spoon works well might want to squeeze the remaining juice out against the sides of the bowl as well or against the sides of the pot this will keep uh, from uh, gumming up your uh, colander when you go to strain it kind of gotten down to the small stuff now so I'm using my strainer to get some of the other remaining stuff that now the slotted spoon is not catching okay what I've got now here is a typical spaghetti strainer and I've got it inside of a pot because the liquid is what we're interested in, in rescuing here. So we want to get this in here so it's not going to fall within. Okay, And now I'm going to pour the cabbage from the pot into this to strain out the cabbage to keep the liquid. Okay, you've done a good job straining. You've got most of the cabbage already. using my wooden spoon I'm just going to work this around gently 
I want to try to keep out as much particulate matter as possible. We're just interested in the fluid. There, that's about it. Now, be sure to let the liquid cool cool down before you use it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to transfer my liquid to this nice uh, clear glass mason jar. That way we can see a lot of the, the purple fluid here. You want to be careful. You want to make certain the liquid's pretty cool. My liquid's cooled off for about 30 minutes. It's still a little warm though. And again, if you put about a half gallon in to start with, you're going to have about a half gallon of water left. Uh, so you want to be careful and don't overfill your... One of the nice things that you can do is you can make your own litmus paper by simply taking a coffee filter and cutting it up into strips. Here I'm just going to cut pretty broadly. and make some strips out of this. Okay, And then we're going to soak these into our litmus, into our uh, red cabbage indicator. Now the other thing you can do is you can take a little bowl like this with your coffee filters and fill the bowl up, making certain to give this a pretty good soak. And then you're going to have to take the coffee filters out and dry them. And once they're dry, you're going to have litmus paper. What I have now are three bowls here that I've filled with my red cabbage indicator. And I'm going to test an acid and a base solution and use the third bowl as a reference. First I'm going to start with my acid. I'm pour a little bit of acid in here. You can see immediately what happens, it turns a nice shade of red. Use a spoon to stir. Now I'm going to pour in my base. You can see what color the solution turns when I have a base. It's a nice turquoise color. And you can compare that with the indicator solution that's not been tested. 